Hi, this is Silver Fox A, and uh, this is a project that I have initiated to help or probably say a certain set of content to the open source community where they can get uh, the infrastructure and server related de details on their own, which I learned over these past few years. If you are in sync with my idea of helping the open source community, please do subscribe my channel. It will motivate me to add more content. This is the second video of my playlist uh, create messenger app using Firebase and Android. Now, this is Firebase. It's, it, it's a cloud platform where you get a lot of stuff. Uh, we're especially looking at uh, Firebase real-time database, right? And they have the authentication module all integrated in one. So you don't have to create your own set of authentication system, right? That takes care of it. So what you have to do is click on add project. Once, you're, when, once you click on add project, they will highlight you this pop-up where you have to configure your app right first give give it a name some name that you want to give if you go to google api console you'll probably see this app there as well because it's in sync uh you probably want to select the country and then check in the terms and condition create project so they will uh take take some, take some time to set up the project for you and uh once that's done, you probably have to set a key in your package, a package name and few sort of SH1 keys and all the sort of stuff. So they will walk you through the entire process. Okay, now select the OS that you want, right, for the for the project and they have a lot of stuff that you can check it out here. You can do deep linking, cloud messaging, the GCM and everything. Okay, now click on Android. So this is an Android project. Uh, what you have to do is you have to copy the package name that that you got uh, that you have it in your profile or as the project paste it here and you probably want to give it a name some random name so that you know that this is this project okay and you can set up your ssh1 key to do that you just click on this uh, question mark and they'll show you the page where they will actually highlight you what's, what's the command that goes in Okay, just copy the one so for me it's a Mac so I'm just going for that open up terminal or CMD if you're on Windows type it in and then and the password is Android Android all small so once you have that they'll give you a SH1 key this one just type it in okay click on register app so they'll uh, show you what's the next step that's something decent so just you have to download this json file so that's google service json so they have all these important data set uh, added to it okay now click on next click copy it add it to your project level gradle You have to do it in your project level credit not the app so here you have to add the dependencies within dependency add that and uh, you'll have to do this firebase core to your project level oh sorry pro to your app level dependencies you just add it there and one more that is your add so they clearly specified where you need to in, 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 to be careful where you place it or else you probably end up um, break, uh, like uh, breaking the build and that will cost you a certain amount of time to get it sorted so just copy uh, the file wherever you have uh, the json file go to your project paste it under app app directory okay and once you're done you want to sync uh, the file uh, so there's are uh, some predefined uh, file related or project related configs they have added to service json file that the firebase sdk will access and authenticate you as one of the authorized user or the application to use their service or uh, something of that sort okay once the cradle project sync is done um what we'll do is we'll will initialize firebase this has to be done app uh, basically application so we'll, we'll uh, push it to the other one later 
okay here uh, so we just want to know what the so if you, if you go to that uh, url they'll show you how to set up your android uh, firebase to uh, firebase on android okay i need to know that uh, dependency code that is uh, if you click on this android setup they'll give you this dependency uh, file path or dependency okay just copy this paste it in your uh, app level uh, little file Once your Gradle build is done, go to the main activity and uh, what you have to do is uh, you need to create an instance or basically need to initialize Firebase database. Okay, now this get reference it will take the reference URL from the service JSON. But if you want to specify, you can do it there. Okay, from here. Now we'll we'll give it a name. Now we give it, uh, in, uh, like we get a variable or the object out of it. Okay, so that we can access it in other part. But see this, this particular uh, thing that we will be using, utilizing in multiple files. So what we will do is we'll create a base class or base activity that uh, uh, that our main activity will extend to. So that we don't have to initialize it every single time uh, on our activities. But that then again, this core file will take care of it. Um, okay, we'll just label it as base activity. We don't need a layout file, and that's all. Click on finish. So this will create a normal activity, right? That's extending to app compact activity. Now what we'll do is we'll we'll uh, put that uh, database reference here, and we'll create a protected uh, object. Okay. Now. So we'll create it protected so whoever extends base activity will have access to this particular uh, object now we'll go back to main activity and instead of extending to app compact we'll extend it to base activity and anyway base activity is extended to app compact activity so whatever the activity reference it has it will be a, like it still remains the same now one small thing is that we uh, have this base uh, but let's just create a separate uh, object that that we will utilize on this particular page here or the activity here so this base or uh, we probably want to change the name but let's see so base okay uh, it might be confusing so i'll just change the name once uh, mr we'll just write it as base reference ref okay this base ref is 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 for this particular uh, activity and it's referencing uh, base activity class okay now what i will do is we'll try to write some data set to our firebase data real-time database and let's say base reference we have a child right so it's following the json structure or json schema so under under the parent we have a child let's say child name is chat room and let's say some we're, we're giving some random value so this is an object set value text object so it can be a normal string integer boolean it can be hash map it can be your uh, pojo class or anything literally anything that you can put okay so let's say we create a hash map string and string and let's say this is a user hash map okay and what we will store is let's say the email and uh, contact number okay let's say something and we'll add in the contact number let's say for the timing we're giving it as a string later on we see how to do it probably put it by uh, long and something else right okay now this will add it to our um, database now let's say we create a separate child that is called let's say um no let's say user within that okay there's this function called push or uh, the method that will create a unique key so it creates a unique child and within that we have uh, let's say uh, pu put up this value or set this value to it that is the user okay let's try to okay we have the app ready let's try to run it run the app on our emulator I mean, uh, let's open a Firebase. We need to do a bit of a tweaking. Uh, go to on the left hand side, you'll get database. Click on that. If you haven't done this process, this is the first time they will ask you which sort of database that you need. So they have Cloud Firestore, that's a NoSQL database. 
and uh, you have uh, your Firebase database. That's a real time declaration. Now uh, you need to set up the rules. Okay. Once the database has been set properly, uh, you will see this that is null, that means no data has been added to it so far. Oh, we'll go back to say here we've started the project. Let's go back to the let's go back to Safari once and see if the data has been written. Yes, so chat room and so this is a unique key that uh, Firebase is generated, and this is string and the other set of values. If you liked what you just saw or it is helpful for you in a manner, please do subscribe and keep following for more of this content that will help me um, or probably that will encourage me to create more of videos.